if you're interested in finding pornography that really excites you and doesn't leave you feeling a bit shameful and guilty after you've finished watching it, I would recommend just searching ethical porn online. Babes, you might want to put your browser on incognito mode. Is it cheating to watch porn in a relationship? Asking for a friend. No matter whether you'd openly admit to it, people are watching porn. In 2017, Pornhub alone averaged 81 million visits per day with 800 searches occurring every single second. And sure, it's pretty obvious why you'd want to watch porn when you're single, but what about when you're in a relationship? Babes, is watching porn cheating? I don't think that watching porn is cheating, but that's my personal opinion. So everyone is going to have a different opinion on this, and it's really important in a relationship to actually have a conversation about what you consider to be cheating. Because for someone, that might be like a real violation to them and might feel really hurtful, um, but for somebody else, that's just normal and it's like a part of their sex life and a really important part of it as well. Do you think it can be a good thing then for some people to watch porn together? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's not for everyone, and if that's something that you find really awkward or you're just not interested in, that's fine as well. You shouldn't feel pressured to do anything you don't want to. Watching pornography together can be a really nice, intimate experience, and you can definitely learn something about yourself and your partner's tastes that might relate to the sex that you want to have with them. It doesn't need to be this like sordid thing that we do just on our own like in the middle of the night with just the screen of our phones. Um, it can be something that we share and actually I think that tends to take away some of the shame about pornography and solo sex. Let's talk about some of the negative things about porn because porn can actually be quite bad for mental health and like your for body shaming and, and the power dynamic between men and women. Yeah, definitely. Often we don't see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff in pornography. So like the film industry, the music industry, porn is an industry that is selling a fantasy um, and it's quite airbrushed and edited. They're not seeing the conversations around contraception, STI testing, consent, which are happening behind the scenes in like the regulated porn industry. It can also be negative for uh, definitely confirming gender roles um, and also for different body types and different ethnicities as well. The negative that are happening right now in porn for uh, the people who are making them is that their content is being uploaded constantly to all the free tube sites. It's meaning that more and more people are watching pornography but it's becoming harder for the people who make it to make a living out of it and that means that people can cut corners and then people in the industry aren't being treated in the way that they need to be, that they deserve to be. So I really encourage everyone who's over the age of 18 to pay for pornography. But I think it's a really good price to pay for having like a good experience that doesn't leave you feeling guilty and knowing that you're supporting the people who are making that content. So when does watching porn become a problem in a relationship? If you are not wanting to spend time with your partner because uh, you're watching lots of porn or you feel like your partner isn't connecting to you sexually or is kind of having some particular uh, expectations about the sex that you might want to have, that can definitely be an issue that can have something to do with pornography as well. There's this belief that if you catch your partner watching porn, it might mean there's something wrong with your sex life or your relationship, but that's not necessarily the case. Let's chat to a friend of mine who's found porn a positive in their relationships. I do think that watching porn in relationships can definitely be positive. It can give you an outlook in different ways of how to spice up your sex life, especially if you are both quite vanilla in the bedroom. It can also be a way for you to um, enjoy some free time together, a bonding session if you might want to call it. When I'm watching it with my partner, I'm usually saying, you know, doesn't she look hot or look at her bum or look at her breast. I never ever assume or feel that just because you're in a relationship, one must immediately stop finding everybody else attractive. That doesn't happen at all, so don't lie to yourself. Everyone is allowed to enjoy their sexuality the way they choose to, especially on their own. And if masturbating and making love to yourself is part of it, then so be it. Is watching porn cheating? You need to consider you and your partner's beliefs. What are the boundaries for your relationship? Communication is key. Talk about what it means to them and talk about why it bothers you. Remember that porn isn't always exploited there are plenty of ethical options out there if you look for them. And remember to find the category that's right for you. Daddy's Pizza Party, all the toppings.